Today I'm going to go over a list of the top seven work from home jobs that can actually be high paying. And I'm also going to be going over the companies that are often hiring for these roles. Now, not only are these going to be great opportunities because we always strive to do the absolute best on this channel to provide the best opportunities for you. And that's why people that are in the exact same situation that you are right now, were able to land remote jobs like James, who was able to land a remote job at 16. I landed my first job, uh, which was our first job offer that actually paid me at the end of December 2021 I was I turned 16 but yeah when I started the course I was 15 years old and Brian who was able to land one at 59 I am new to the world of digital marketing um I am I am 59 years old. But on top of that, these are gonna be jobs and companies that you've probably never heard of before. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by cheersing the like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a digital fundraising associate. In this position, you're basically gonna help drive online fundraising campaigns. And you're gonna be managing email as well as SMS, and in some cases, even other types of content strategies, maybe paid ads, for instance, in order to boost client fundraising efforts. And fundraising associates make about $55,000 to $87,000 a year. Now, some career paths that you might end up going down would be becoming a digital fundraising manager. They make about $57,000 to $98,000 a year. Some similar career paths you might go down would be a email marketing specialist. They make about $57,000 to $93,000 a year. Or a social media manager. They make about $40,000 to $67,000 a year. Or a digital communications coordinator. They make about $47,000 to $69,000 a year. Now, some courses or training that could lead to you landing this job would be the email marketing certification by HubSpot Academy or the Skills Bootcamp in Digital Marketing, or you could take the free training offered by the Digital Career Blueprint, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. A lot of people that I've interviewed on this channel have actually taken that free training and landed a job with it. Some resume or portfolio tips are basically you want to highlight your writing skills. You also want to showcase technical proficiency. And a great way you can do this is simply just by doing portfolio projects and then showcasing those. And then you want to detail your campaign success. So again, do portfolio projects, show the success that you got with them. Pretty simple and straightforward. But overall, I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a scheduling coordinator. And this is basically where you're the mastermind behind everyone's schedule, making sure that things run smoothly. Sounds really boring, right? Well, in some ways it kind of is. And in some ways, every job is kind of boring. But with that being said, you do get to talk to a lot of people. You get to network with a lot of people. You know, you're kind of the point of contact if you're a scheduling coordinator for an executive or someone like that. And so it could be really good for advancing your career, networking, meeting, new people, etc. Also figuring out what other careers you might want to go into. And scheduling coordinators make about forty-four dollars to $63,000 a year, so it's not bad for a starter job. Some jobs you might go into are scheduling manager, maybe even an operations manager or a project manager at some point down the line. Some other jobs that are similar to this one would be, of course, customer service representative. They make about $15 to $20 an hour. Administrative assistants, they make about $17 to $25 an hour. And project coordinators make about $20 to $30 an hour. And some really good resume tips here are you can highlight your organization organizational skills. You want to also emphasize your communication skills, and then you want to include relevant software proficiency. So this could be on your resume and or a portfolio that you use. But overall, this one's pretty solid. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break. So I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also want to know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pin comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a remote call representative. So this one, I think everybody knows about it. You know, you're basically a customer service representative. You are working remote, but you're going to have to deal with Karens. You're going to have to handle inbound calls, deal with lots of problems all day long. It's a bit of a headache. It's not the most desirable job in the world, but it is a super easy job to land and it's really easy to land a remote position. So it can be pretty decent for a starter job. And they make about thirty six dollars to $50,000 a year, so it pays the bills. And you can also transition into more of a technical support representative, which can be your way of getting into the technology industry, which the tech industry is probably the best industry to work in. And technical support specialists make about thirty five dollars to $50,000 a year. But then you can transition into like an IT help desk role, et cetera, et cetera, and work your way up. So yeah, really good stuff. Uh, one company you could work for is Conduit. So Conduit is a really 
really good company. Uh, it's a global company that delivers mission critical services and solutions for businesses and governments, creating an exceptional outcome for their client and the millions of people they serve. Now, the company does also actually provide training as well. And the application process, you visit Conduent's website, conduent.com, then you go to their career page, then you scroll down and you'll see the open positions. Then you wanna click on remote call representative or remote call associate. And then you wanna go ahead and apply for it. It's that simple. Now the qualifications here, uh, not that much, just the ability to type at least 25 words per minute, which is super, super slow, by the way. High school diploma, GED or college degree. So either of those three will work. They do require that you complete a mandatory paid training program with 100% attendance. You do need to have a home internet connection with at least 25 megabytes per second, which is not that fast. Then the ability to have a work computer with a home modem via ethernet, not satellite or Wi-Fi, and then a quiet workspace free of distractions. So really, really common, like easy stuff to do. So the requirements are extremely low and they pay about $15 an hour. So not bad. Relatively good reviews online from previous associates. And yeah, you know, uh, not the best job in the world, probably not something you want to do forever, but can be a good way to get your foot in the door. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a media planning associate. And this is where you help shape the digital landscape with strategic advertising campaigns. For instance, you could be advertising on YouTube or you could just create your own YouTube channel, which is something a bunch of people have reached out to me for. A lot of the time people want my help and guidance on how to do that. And by the way, if you're interested in learning exactly how I grew my YouTube channel, I basically give everything away completely free with like an ultimate YouTube guide, which I'll put down below. I don't really hold anything back. It's my entire strategy for how I grew on YouTube. And it's not something that you're gonna hear about anywhere else. Now, a cool quote about uh, advertising by William Birnbach is, advertising is fundamentally persuasion and persuasion happens to not be a science, but an art. And I would have to agree with that. It's actually part art and part science in my opinion, but yeah. The first recorded paid advertisement appeared in the London Gazette in 1625. And this marked the beginning of the formal advertising industry. So yeah, another fun fact for you there as well. And in this position, associate media planner, you can make about 55 to $77,000 a year, which is pretty good. Down the line, you might become an integrated media planner. They make about 53 to $75,000 a year. And then way down the line, you might become a media director and they make about 73 to $134,000 a year. So good amount of opportunities at the entry level and also positions that you can rise into as well. Some similar positions might be digital marketing specialists. They make about 48 to 79,000 a year. Market research analysts make about 62 to $105,000 a year. So those are some other ones that you could look into. But when it comes to an associate media planner, some courses or training that can help lead to the job are the digital media planning certification, the Google ads analytics certification, marketing and advertising courses. And of course you can take the free training from the digital career blueprint, which I put down in the description in the pinned comment below. That's helped a ton of people get jobs. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a virtual office manager. So this is exactly what it sounds like in this new crazy modern world world, you basically have virtual offices. People are so used to coming to the office that you have to create like a virtual office environment. Now, sometimes it's literally like a virtual office. They do actually have that in some companies. And then sometimes it's more of just like a metaphorical virtual office. But either way, they do have to have someone to manage everything, right? So Slack is kind of the virtual office of my company. And virtual office managers make about forty-six to $72,000 a year. Some other positions that are kind of similar to this and have similar skill sets would be an administrative coordinator. They make about forty-six to sixty-six thousand dollars a year. An executive assistant, they make about fifty-six to ninety-one thousand dollars a year. Or an operations manager, they make about sixty-eight to one hundred twelve thousand dollars a year. Some good tips to landing this one would be getting the Google Project Management certificate. Also, the PMP certification would be really helpful too. And then just highlight the fact that you have good organizational skills, good leadership skills. You have technical proficiency, right? So you know how to use Google Doc and Word and all that kind of stuff. And then just showcase your experience. You can do that with the portfolio. So yeah, overall pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a content marketing specialist. Other types of content marketing, of course, outside of YouTube are also really good. And content marketing specialists make about 54 to $80,000 a year. Content is basically the future guys. Pretty much all companies are leveraging and hopping on the content bandwagon right now. It used to be that paid ads was the way to go, but paid ads are no longer nearly as efficient. And so now everybody's doing content. So yeah, this one's a little bit similar to the media planning associate one that I just talked about a bit ago. Big thing here is make sure that you've got a good portfolio, make sure that you actually know how to make content and schedule it and use all the scheduling tools. Copywriting is a key skill, basically the ability to be persuasive in the written word, no matter what you're doing. And yeah, this one's really good. 
I like it a lot. 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is sales development representative or SDR. I'm saving the best for last guys. This one is absolutely phenomenal. I've said it a million times. Everyone should do at least one sales job. This is the number one sales job that I recommend for beginners. SDRs make 63 to $99,000 a year. This just keeps going up every single time I look at it. It seems like it's getting higher. A few years ago, it was more like, you know, 50 to 70,000. Now it's like 63 to 99,000, which is crazy. Some training you can take is of course the course careers SDR training. I'll put that down in the description in the pinned comment below. Yeah, really like this role. It teaches you basics of sales, also prospecting, which is really underrated. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. If you haven't checked it out already, I did a video, 21 highest paying work from home jobs that are always hiring. You can check that out by clicking right here.